So I'm going to show you how to modify a power supply in order to power your project. Now what we have here is a just a simple CPU power supply and you'll see right here on the 12 volt rail it's giving out 17 amps and this is plenty enough for our project. Um, the recommended value is definitely above 16 amps. 17 amps might be kind of, kind of close but uh, the good thing about these power supplies is that they have overcurrent protection so if you do actually pull too much current it'll just shut itself off and you won't have to worry about your project blowing itself up um, or your power supply blowing itself up. Your power supply will still be usable but you'll probably have to switch to a higher amperage power supply. Um, but the awesome thing about these ATX power supplies is that basically the screen wire, almost every time you're going to see the screen wire, as far as I know, you will always see the screen wire. And that is your sense wire. And what it's going to do is when you push the power button, it breaks this, it, it connects this, this sense wire to a ground wire. And that basically tells the power supply to turn on. So all we're going to do is simply cut them off and strip them so that we can just trip it ourselves. and cool thing about this power supply is that it's got a little switch so we don't have to worry about wiring in a switch. Um, so if you don't have a switch you could probably put a switch in series like this and then you'd be able to uh, turn your power supply off without uh, unplugging it. So what I've got is this uh, Euro uh, terminal strip uh, that's in the bill of materials for the Cossel Mini that we're going to be building. So I'm just going to use this to go ahead and test the functionality of our, of our system uh, by screwing up, screwing the uh, terminals, the wires to the terminals, and running it out that way. Uh, should make it a little bit cleaner. Okay, so grab a screwdriver if I can find one. All I'm going to do is connect them up. Okay, so we got a jumper in place. Um, now, the other thing that we need to know is that these two yellow wires are going to be your 12 volt rail. Again, like I said, your mileage may vary, but I've always seen them as these yellow wires. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and cut those off. And we're going to wire those together on the same circuit so that they're both so that we're running amperage through both of these wires so that we don't over overload one wire because well 17 amps can be quite a load and your wires will end up getting hot if you don't have a thick enough gauge wire and this just eliminates that worry and I'm really bad at stripping wires with these bad But I'm sure you guys don't want to watch me use my teeth, which I usually do. Alright, so what I'm just going to do is just go ahead and twist them together. I'm going to run those into their own terminal block and screw them down. And you could run this on the same ground as you have your sense on, but I prefer just to cut out a couple more. And since I'm running two wires for the current, I'm going to go ahead and run two wires for the ground.